Sino Sports Media, Tigo TV, Tony Nichols Jr. here with Coach Darfour. Silverado High School. You guys, first game of the season, correct? Yeah. You guys yeah. got off to a good start, 29-point victory. Um, it ended kind of weird. Would you say that's the strangest ending to a basketball game? That is a very strange ending to a basketball <laughs> game. I've coached in a lot of basketball games and haven't had, well, we've had a lot of crazy endings here. Mm -hmm. Last year, a guy hit a 64-foot shot on our team to win the game. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He made the shot like from like the free throw line on the other end on this basket right here. So that was a crazy ending, but nothing like this. Uh, it got chippy a couple times in the game. Uh, Typically in high school games, if it gets chippy, it's like a one-time thing and the refs clean it up. Uh, not to say the refs didn't do a good job. I think they did a great job, but at the same time, uh, the guys' emotion, they're emotionally involved. Uh, it was our first home game, home opener. And uh, we got a brand new, beautiful basketball court and the guys mm -hmm. wanted to protect it and defend it. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was a part of, you know, the emotions being high with the game too. The game was very chippy. One thing I noticed, uh, there was probably 21 fouls called in the first quarter. Uh, overall in the first half, I mean, both teams were in double bonus early. Do you guys think that in the second half, obviously the game sped up a little bit, less fouls but do you guys feel like you controlled the pace that you wanted or do you feel like you never even got to the pace because of the foul situation on both sides? Um, well, you know, we're a fast break team. And uh, all right, Rich, I'll see you around, Rich. <laughs> hey, so we want to, you know, push the issue on offense mm -hmm. as much as we can. We want to push the ball with the pass. We want to push it with the dribble. I think we're able to do that. Uh, I think we can throw the ball ahead a little bit better. Um, I don't think we ever got to the pace that we want to play at, you know, uh, but they didn't do anything to stop us from getting to that pace. It's just the first game of the season. We missing people. We're not looking ahead as early as we should uh, look ahead. Mm -hmm. As far as addressing uh, the fouls, you know, how many fouls are called in the first half, a lot of that is because we have a lot of things to clean up on defense. Mm -hmm. You know, we're reaching where guys need to be like stepping in the way and things like that. So we probably fouled a little bit more than we will and uh, play a lot of man to man. Yeah. In this town, it's ticky-tack, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's tough to play man-to-man -man because if you just, that's a foul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, in this town. Especially so, early. This, they, especially early. To, yeah. You know, set a tone as officials as well. Definitely. Um, you won by 30, let's just be honest. Yeah. What can you improve on? Uh, There's always room for improvement. Yeah, we one. can improve everywhere. Uh, definitely um, on the defensive end. We're, I think we're doing a good job. We have good energy guarding the ball and helping and denying, but when it comes to boxing out and rebounding, we think that we could get it done with our athletic ability. And when we come against more athletic teams or teams that are just as athletic as us, mm -hmm. if we don't have the habit in place to box out or to tag a guy, something that we like to say, um, we're gonna get beat on the boards and it could result in us losing a really tough game. So we gotta kinda clean that up, make sure we rebound the basketball. I think a lot of times we stopped them and gave them another possession, gave them another chance to score. So we gotta do a much better job with rebounding. Last question, it's December 2nd. State is in February, will you guys still be playing? Um, every player I pretty much talked to has talked about having state championship aspirations. Will Absolutely. you guys still be playing in February? Uh, well, that's definitely the plan. It's our plan to be the last basketball, to be involved in the last basketball game of the season. You know, um, if we're playing in that last basketball game of the season, that's the state championship game. Uh, that's our goal to get there. If we continue to do the things that we've been doing in practice, we have a, as good a shot as anybody. You know, uh, it's wide open this year. There's probably like 12, 13 teams who all have probably those types of ambitions. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, we plan to play in the last game, the final game of the year. Sounds good. I appreciate yep. you, Coach. Can I get a shout out to Ceno Sports Media? Ceno Sports Media out here doing big things. Appreciate you know, you. we appreciate them coming to check out our game. Appreciate yep. you. Can I also get a shout out to Tigo TV? Tigo TV, that's how you say yes, it? Yes, sir. Tigo TV. Tigo TV. You yes, know? sir. Definitely. Appreciate it, Coach. Hey, appreciate no problem. It. Now, we off camera right now, but we still okay. rolling. Where did you say you was from? <laughs> <laughs>